Good morning, children, and welcome to the class of English. Today, I is your English teacher, Pankaj Singh Thapa, is in front of you again with the new topic and new chapter that is uh, discovering Tut. The saga continues by A. R. Williams. Children, if you want to know more about A. R. Williams, you can uh, go to my videos where I explain the chapter in detail. Word to word, all right, and there uh, I have explained about A. R. Williams also. So, children, uh, let's start the chapter then. Now, you would be worried that uh, who was Tut, all right? You would be worried that who was Tut. So, let me make you clear that uh, the full name of uh, Tut is Tutan. Haman. All right. So, the full name of Tut is Tutankhamun, and uh, Tutankhamun was the Pharaoh. All right. Tutankhamun was one of the most celebrated pharaoh of Egypt and uh, pharaoh children means king. Alright, so Egypt is a very, you know, heritage site because uh, it's known for the seven wonders of the world that is Egyptian pyramids. So the pyramid of uh, Tutankhamun is one of the most, you know, uh, well-known pyramid of Egypt. And uh, one more pyramid is there, I think, uh, if I'm right, uh, Sphinx, S-P-H-I-N-X, I think this is the spelling. So the pyramid of Sphinx is also there. The Sphinx pyramid is something in the structure looks like uh, the head of a human being and the body of a lion. So, you know, the researchers and scientists all around the world and uh, archaeologists and uh, many of the persons, they are very curious about uh, the existence of these pyramids and what all happened to the pharaohs. So, the researchers were trying a lot to carve out the entire detail about that epoch or about that era. And uh, in their effort, one of the scientists or researchers, that is uh, Howard Carter. All right. So one of the researchers was there, Howard Carter. So Howard Carter just he researched or tried to find out about the pyramid of Tutankhamun. And uh, the death of Tutankhamun was very mysterious. Actually, first of all, he died at an early age, I think 16 or 17 years of age, the Tutankhamun died. So the scientists were very curious that what all happened to that king, we have to find out. So it was there. So let's uh, study the details of this chapter. So it was 6 p.m. on January 5, 2005 when the mummy of Tutankhamun moved smoothly and quietly into a CT scanner which had been carried on Tut's resting place. The aim was to prove the persisting medical mysteries of this young ruler who died more than 3,300 years ago. His dead body was embalmed and buried in a royal grave in the valley of the kings. So on January 5, 2005, around 6 p.m., the coffin of Tutankhamun was taken out from the grave and then the mummy of Tutankhamun was chiseled out from the coffin because it got stuck in the coffin due to the raisins which were applied on the body. So anyhow it was taken out. Well, what was the aim? Aim was to probe. Okay. So children, the word is probe. Right. And probe means uh, examine. 
so probe means examine or find out all right so the word is probe and uh, it means examine or find out all right so it was there the mummy of uh, Tutankhamen was taken out and it was taken to the CT scanner and uh, the aim or the, uh, the reason for examining was to find out the medical mysteries of this young ruler who died around 3300 years ago. His dead body was embalmed and buried in a royal grave in the valley of the kings. So his dead body was buried in the valley of the kings. Now it was Howard Carter and he was a British archaeologist who discovered Tut's tomb in 1922. After years of futile search, its contents remain the richest royal collection ever found. So Tut's tomb when it was uh, discovered out, it contained a lot amount of the jewelries and many rich things and the many other artifacts made up of gold as well as everyday things like board games, bronze razor, linen, and garments, case of food and wine. So all these things were buried along with the king. And children, do you know what was the reason behind all these things getting included with the king? Because you know the Egyptians believed in afterlife. So children, this is the word that is afterlife, which you have to remember. <coughs> And Egyptians believed in afterlife. What did they believe? They believed that when a person dies, then after death, he moves into different world. All right. So that's why they believe that all these things will be required there, and then they keep it there. So Carter first recorded the pharaoh's funeral treasures, and then he began investigating his three nested coffins. The first one had a shroud covered with garlands of willow and olive trees okay so you would be curious to know what is the meaning of shroud so shroud actually it's a white generally you know white and red cloths generally which Hindus uh, use to uh, cover the dead body so it's basically it is white cloth and uh, it is used to cover the dead body so it is shroud so the first coffin when it was opened it contained uh, shroud with the garlands of willow and olive trees wild celery, lotus petals and cornflowers and this proved that he was buried in March or April. So at that time only these uh, lotus petals and, and cornflowers this, they bloom. So they found out the time of death of Tutankhamen. Carter ran into trouble when he reached the mummy. The ritual resins had hardened. You know children how the mummies were prepared. First of all the entire material inside the body of uh, the dead body uh, was taken out all right from the trunk one hole used to be made and uh, through that hole the entire organs inside the mummy were taken out and that trunk one this was then dried and after drying it was filled up with some resins which used to which use uh, which actually worked as preservatives all right, but due to the passing of the time, those ritual resins had hardened, and these had cemented to to the bottom of the solid gold coffin. So, mummy of Tut was stuck to the bottom. So the solidified material was removed with the help of chisels, and the mummy was cut free. Carter's men removed the mummy's head and severed nearly every major joint. So, in their effort to just cut out the mummy from the coffin they had you know destroyed many a things of the mummy and every joint got misplaced and once they had finished they assembled the remains on a layer of sand in a wooden box with padding that concealed the damage the team of scientists found it resting there Jahi Hawass secretary general of Egypt's supreme council of antiquities observed that mummy was in a very bad condition because of what Carter had done in the 1920s so Jahi Hawass actually who is the secretary general of Egypt's supreme council of antiquities, antique things children. The word is antique, A-N-T-I-Q-U-E, antique items, children you might have heard about this word, antique means something which is very old 
and uh, costly also costly we can say precious also all right so any old item which is costly and precious is known as antique so uh, their mummies are also precious all right so they had made a group a commission and that was the egypt supreme council of antiquity so jahi bawas was his secretary and he observed that mummy was in a very bad condition because of what carter had done in the 1920 archaeology has changed a lot during the last few decades now it pays less attention to treasure and more to the fascinating details of life and puzzling mysteries of death children uh, the earlier researchers their main task was uh t r e a s e r e treasure hunt all right you might have read many books on treasure hunts so earlier researchers had the sole task of treasure hunts they were basically behind the treasure but nowadays apart from treasure what all thing other things are necessary that is science nowadays science is more necessary so archaeology has changed a lot now it pays less attention to treasure and more to the fascinating details of life and puzzling mysteries of death and it uses more sophisticated tools including medical technology in 1968 an anatomy professor x-rayed the mummy he revealed a startling fact that the breast bone and the front ribs are missing and now ct scanning was employed to answer two questions how did he die and uh, how old was he at the time of his death so when ct scan was taken place so the breast bone of the mummy was missing and the ribs were some ribs were also missing so on the night of the scan workmen carried out tooth from the tomb in his box they climbed a ramp and a flight of stairs into the swirling sand outside so on the night of the scanning workmen uh, or the workers they took out the tooth from the sand and he was climbed to a ramp and the flight of stairs into the swirling sand outside you know what had all happened at the time suddenly the sand storm was there and you know the workmen got uh, afraid that it's all the curse of pharaoh that you know at that time uh, something was encarved on the tomb of uh, pharaoh that if anyone happens to touch the pharaoh's mummy would reach death all right so the workmen they got afraid that it is the curse of pharaoh which is working and they stopped working but later on this uh, sandstorm stopped and then the mummy of the pharaoh was taken to the ramp and then with the help of hydraulic lift onto the trailer and then trailer held the scanner initially there was some problem because of sand in a cooler fan because the sand due to sandstorm the sand struck in the cooler fan and the cooler fan stopped working but then the technicians repaired it and the mummy was scanned from head to toe 1700 digital x-ray images in cross section were created and tooth's head was scanned in 0.62 mm slices to register its completed structures tooth's entire body was similarly recorded then a team okay so children uh, tooth's uh, head was scanned in 0.62 mm slices to register its completed structures tooth's entire body was similarly recorded and then a team of specialists in radiology forensics and anatomy began to probe the secrets a technician displayed astonishing images of tooth on a computer screen a gray head took shape from a scattering of pixels so you know children how ct scan ct scan takes place and then how all the entire details or the anatomical structures of the body gets revealed in the ct scan so the technician spanned and tilted it in every direction neck vertebra appeared quite clearly other images revealed a hand uh, several views of the rib cage and a narrow cross section of the skull jahi hawa smiled he felt relieved to say nothing had gone seriously wrong so although howard carter in his effort to find out the details of the mummy had severely damaged the mummy but still nothing serious had happened to the mummy it was in quite a perfect uh, shape and size so children that was all about the chapter and uh, that is the summary rest a detailed explanation children you go to my previous videos of the chapter and you can find out the details there now uh, let's discuss some ncert textbook questions which are solved 
Now this is give reasons for the following. King Stoot's body has been subjected to repeated scrutiny. Now children, uh, scrutiny means examination, or you can say examine. All right. So it is there. So why King's uh, body was subjected to repeated scrutiny? So the mummy and the king Tutankhamen has earned worldwide fame for the riches it was buried with. So there is also speculation about the manner of his death and his age at the time of death. Hence, King Stoot's body has been subjected to repeated scrutiny. All right, children. To find out about the details of Tutankhamen, the King Tut's mummy was examined again and again. All right, repeated scrutiny means examined again and again. Okay, Howard Carter's investigation was resented. Resented means taken with anger. Okay, so if you talk uh, what is uh, resented, so children uh, resented means anger. All right. So why Howard Carter's investigation was taken with anger? So Howard Carter's investigation was resented because he used unscientific methods and illegitimate ways. He was focusing more on treasure and less on cultural and historical aspects. That's why his investigation was not uh, taken in good record. Carter had to chisel away the solidified resins to raise the king's remains. Chisel away means cut away. So you know what, did, what the Carter did? He just cut the mummy uh, to just separate it from the coffin. So Carter found why it, actually we have to give reason children. So Carter found that the ritual resins had hardened and the result was that Tut's body had been cemented to the bottom of his gold coffin and proper force could not move the resins. Even the scorching sun failed to loosen the resin. Means when the mummy of the Tutankhamen was dried in the sun, then also the resins did not move at all. That's why Carter had to cut the mummy. That's why he chiseled away the king's remains. Okay, next question. Uh, Tut's body was buried along with the gilded treasures. So actually it's an ancient Egyptian uh, belief that uh, it is the resurrection of the death. Resurrection means they believe in afterlife. Children, it is a question based on afterlife. Their kings were extremely rich. So Tut's body was buried with gilded treasures. Their eternal billions was meant to guarantee resurrection. And things of everyday use was also buried with the king. Clearly, children, in simple words, we can say that they believed in afterlife and they believed that uh, after death, the king will or the pharaoh will go to another world and in that world, he will require these materials. That's why these treasures were buried with them. Next question, the boy king changed his name from Tutankhaten to Tutankhamun. So children, Tutankhamun means living image of Amun. So children, uh, in Egypt, uh, if we talk, then they have two different kinds of gods. That is, one is Aten and another one is Amun. So what happened? Tutankhamun means living image of Amun. So Amun is Aten and Amun, both are gods. All right. So Amun was a major god, uh, god in Egypt and King Amun Hotep IV who changed his name from Akhenaten to he smashed the images of Amun and got his temples closed. The previous ruler of Egypt that is Akhenaten, he smashed or broke the images of Amun God and closed his temples. But King Tut restored the temples of Amun God. Okay. Because King Tut believed in the Amun. So that's why he changed his name from Tutankhaten to Tutankhamun because of his belief in the Amun God. Next question list the deeds that uh, led uh, Ray Johnson to describe Akhenaten as Vaki. Vaki means something not very good in shape, size, and behavior. Children, so Akhenaten means a servant of Aten, that is the sun disk, and he moved the religious capital from the old city of the Thebes to the new city of Akhenaten, known as Amarna. He smashed the images of Amun, a major god, and closed his temples. So these deeds led Ray Johnson to describe Akhenaten as 
বাকি বিকজ এখানে একটা জাস্ট ডিস্ট্রয়েড অর ডেমোলেস দ্য টেম্পলস অফ ইমেন গড অ্যান্ড ই মুভ হিজ ক্যাপিটাল ফ্রম দ্য ওল্ড সিটি অফ দ্য থেপেস টু দ্য নিউ সিটি অফ অমরনা দ্যাটস ওয়াই হি ওয়াজ কনসিডার এস ব্যাকি স্লাইটলি ম্যাড নট ভেরি গুড লুকিং সামথিং লাইক দ্যাট ওকে হোয়াট ওয়ার দ্য রেজাল্টস অফ সিটি স্ক্যান সো দ্য রেজাল্টস অফ সিটি স্ক্যান ওয়ার কোয়াইট এনকারেজিং সেভেনটিন হান্ড্রেড ডিজিটাল এক্সট্রি ইমেজেস অ্যান্ড ক্রস সেকশন ওয়ার ক্রিয়েটেড আ গ্রে হেড অ্যাপিয়ার অন দ্য স্ক্রিন অ্যান্ড নেক ভার্টিব্রা ওয়ার কোয়াইট ক্লিয়ার দ্য ইমেজেস অফ হ্যান্ড রিপ কেজ অ্যান্ড স্কাল ওয়ার ইকুয়ালি ব্রাইট অ্যান্ড দিজ রিভিল দ্যাট নথিং হ্যাড গন সিরিয়াসলি রং উইথ টুটস বডি অলাইট মিনস টুটস বডি ওয়াজ কোয়াইট ইন আ ফাইন শেপ অ্যান্ড সাইজ ইভেন আফটার দ্য রং রিসার্চ অফ দ্য আর্কোলজিস্ট হাওয়ার্ড খাটা ইট ওয়াজ দ্য রেজাল্ট অফ সিটি স্ক্যান নেক্সট কোয়েশ্চন লিস্ট দ্য এডভান্টেজ ইন টেকনোলজি দ্যাট হ্যাভ ইম্প্রুভ ফরেনসিক অ্যানালিসিস তো দ্য এডভান্সেস ইন টেকনোলজি হ্যাভ হেল্প ইন ইম্প্রুভিং ফরেনসিক অ্যানালিসিস মেনি সাইন্টিফিক টেস্ট ক্যান বি ক্যারিড আউট টু ডিটারমাইন দ্য কজ অফ ক্রাইম দিজ ইনক্লুড এক্স রে আল্ট্রাসাউন্ড সিটি স্ক্যান পোস্ট মর্টম অটপসি অ্যান্ড বায়োপসি সি দিজ আর দ্য মডার্ন মিনস অফ ইউ নো রিসার্চ দিজ টেকনিক্স অ্যান্ড দিজ আর ইউজড ইন দ্য মেডিকেল সাইন্স পোস্ট মর্টম অটপসি অ্যান্ড বায়োপসি অ্যান্ড অল দিজ হেল্প ইন ডায়গনোসিস অ্যান্ড প্রোভাইড এক্সাক্ট ইনফরমেশন all right okay explain the ne- next question explain the statement king tut is one of the mo- uh, first mummy to be scanned and that as in life so sometimes this children this question comes in exams and how would you answer this let me tell you so king tut's mummy was the first one to be excreted by an anatomy professor in 1968 on 5 january 2005 ct scan created virtually real virtual reality and produced life like images king tut is one of the first mummies to be scanned and thus in death as well as in life king tut moved regularly ahead of his countrymen so children why we do we say this first of all king tut mummy was the first one to be researched so and earlier when he was living king tut he led a very royal life that's why we say that king tut when he was alive he lived a royal life and after death when his body was scanned again he was uh, regularly ahead of his countrymen so children that's all in the today's video hope you like this one and uh, you will get benefited so thank you for today we'll meet in next video